farming and building, farming and building, and then farming and building. That is life up here on Lowe's Farm. That's been our life for the last two and a half years since we've been living here. And that's what life today is gonna be for us and in this video. When you start off with a little bit of farming, and then we're gonna go on to some building, we're gonna be putting the roof onto the bathroom today. But that's gonna be coming a little bit later because these goats behind me, they need a little bit of loving. I just wanna give you guys a heads up that this video today is sponsored by Meeson and they actually have an amazing offer going on right now that if you click the link in our description below, use the code NOMADIC, you can get 20% off site-wide plus free shipping if you spend $75 or more. Come on. Come on. You gotta get down, I can't open it when you're up there. Come on. <laughs> come on, Camille. Around the other way. <laughs> come on, this way. Come on. Come on. Waking up to today's to today's like today. Waking up to days like today with just a little bit of a breeze. The sun is shining. It just feels so so damn good. But today. We're doing something that we've actually never done before. Have any of you guys ever seen a goat be given a bath? Because I sure as heck have not seen that before. I love your, your southern just comes out there right at the end. <laughs> I sure as heck haven't. I sure as heck. I sure as heck haven't seen a goat get a bath. <laughs> what kind of goat is that? What kind of goat is that? We're going to be killing two birds with one stone. And while we have the goats here, we're also going to be trimming all of their hooves. You ever watch the Hoof GP on YouTube? Yeah. Oh. Would you look at that corneum? Looks like a little bit of a white line. Might even have a little bit of digital dermatitis in there. And that's what we like to call a trim well done. That was my sad and sorry attempt at a Scottish accent. I'm sorry for that, but if you guys don't watch, the Hoof GP on YouTube. It's like how I wind down at the end of the night. Nothing like some good old fashioned cow hoof trimming to just like sit there and chill out. It's also just like, for some reason, I don't know why, but it's just like so satisfying. That's what I expected. Probably about two liters. <laughs> You know how there's jokes about the milkman knocking up people's wives? Yeah. What happens when I am the milkman? <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Because I am most definitely not ready for this. No. Oh, no. Come on. Hi, baby. Got some corn right there. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I kind of like it. Is it nice? We're, we're taking care of this good boy. This is our first goat skiing. That was our first baby. I need to put a clip of a picture that I took. And he was actually in our bus laying on the ground. You know how we give you the tubbies? We're giving the goats the tubby. Sadie growth update. She is almost at 10 months old. She can fully pull herself up, stand up almost without holding anything. And she can walk with assistance from mom and dad. This is mating season for these guys, so they, when they're ready to mate, I guess part of what they do is they pee all over their face. <laughs> so, <laughs> for the last month, I just, every time I go down, I just see them pissing all over themselves. So that's why we, they're starting to stink a little bit. So that's why we just figured it's bath time. <sighs> Ooh, stinky. Pee, you stinky girl. Even though it's not even noon yet, I'm making us shower before we even step foot back into that workshop. I'm covered in goat pee. All right, it's time to get back to work on this bathroom. I actually have one more major beam to put in that I kind of got lazy on last time and it's all the way in the back. There's a horizontal beam going across that I'm missing. You can see one in the front on this drone shot. And I just need to put one in the back real quick. So with these, I know I want the bottom and the top to be the same width. So I can just take this measurement here, which is 285 centimeters. And then I'm just gonna cut this beam to that length.
right side's welded in, now I just need to do the left side. Sweetie, are you missing my helping hand today? Yeah, so building by yourself is so hard. <laughs> Just having someone to hold the tape or hold the beam or... I know. You gotta get one of those fancy schmancy magnetic tapes like Rodrigo has. <laughs> There's one more main support beam for this roof and it's gonna go dead center, right in the middle. So we've been taking measurements to find the middle and then we just took the measurement of the beam itself. I tried to cut this one so perfect so it'll be tight because I'm gonna have to put this one up on my own. That's uh, too dangerous to do by myself right now. I'm also pretty tired. It's 5 p.m. I got up on the scaffold and tried lifting it up and I was like, nope, this just isn't worth it. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> My hair looks so ridiculous. I need a haircut, but I just don't trust Kaylee doing it at all. So I've been just kind of waiting until we get back to the States. That was mediocre, Dubo. Show me up with your. Dude, look how much effort you put in, and you've only cut half of an onion. Sweetie, this is like meditation for me. Before Kaylee and I started making YouTube videos, I was actually running restaurants. I went to college to run restaurants. I went for restaurant management. I was a restaurant manager. I took a lot of cooking classes. I spent a lot of time in the kitchen, spent a lot of time using knives, which makes me very excited to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Meeson. And part of the reason why I'm so excited is I get to show. Kaylee up with a kitchen knife. Everyone knows that the ultimate knife test is a tomato. Wow, that's Woo! ridiculous. You wanna play Fruit Ninja in real life? Fruit Ninja. Oh. <laughs> dude, that's insane. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. What can I cut? Potatoes, dude, potatoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I've used a lot of knives in my day. I've used all the big name brands, but this Mison knife, especially this chef's knife, has just been such a joy to use since we've had it. So like Jordan was saying, Mison's knives have totally exceeded our expectations. And the amazing thing about them is that the quality of their knives are just as good, if not better, than a lot of the name top brands out there, but half the price. Well, you guys, we had an absolute blast giving the Meeson Chef Knife the ultimate test. But now it's time to dig in to this filet mignon over here. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Have a little, uh, <sighs> sit down on the couch and then. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> Off to sleep. <laughs> Do any of you guys eat your watermelon like this? Because if you don't, you gotta give it a try. This is the way. So much less effort. You're basically eating it like it's already in a bowl. But Jordan actually let me sleep in a little bit this morning. And Sadie, we both slept till 8 30 today. There's a lot going on on the farm. There's a lot to get done, but sleep is definitely a priority right now. And anytime we can't get sleep, we just, we gotta get it. Like the colors of the sky and like the trees just look way more intense for some reason. I don't know if it's just here, if it's all the rain that we get, but days like today just feel euphoric. I have a feeling it's more just cause it's always raining here, <laughs> that when we do get a sunny day, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> so Sadie, has usually been taking her baths in our kitchen sink, but she's already starting to get a little bit too big for that. So recently I've actually been bringing her in the shower with me, but we recently just bought this big black bin actually for the goats for their water. But here on Lola's farm, we like to be resourceful. We like to make things more multi-use. <laughs> In building with metal, it's not really the welding that takes all the time. I mean, welding takes a while. It's definitely slower than putting in nails. But the thing that 
really takes hours and takes up a lot of the time is the prep work. Cleaning the metal, grinding the metal, but just preparing everything for welding, getting the big beams in place, clamping them just right, tacking them in, moving the metal a little bit, tacking the other side, just all of that stuff. That's really what makes putting in one beam take hours and hours and hours. Are you guys are you guys trying to come up with a... Uh, Rodrigo's a, trying to a, haggle gasoline with me. <laughs> it's like turned into a f form of currency. We, we, uh, we are making business around here. We'll give you six gallons of diesel, four, five gallons of gas. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's a pretty good barter, honey. I've been watching a lot of Shark Tank rakes recently. Give oh, me my your counter offer? Yeah, What's the counter offer? I don't know. I, I got to use the word perpetuity in here somewhere. <laughs> say perpetuity one more time. I can't even say it. Perpetuity. 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 <laughs> you got yourself a deal. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Conseguido. Gasolina. This is like gold around here lately. <laughs> We're going to try to put a beam across from right here to right there. with all of the milk that we've been giving away, plus like three huge batches of goat cheese that I made. We still have way too much goat, goat milk that we know what to do with. Easter. I still have a little bit more in the fridge. So to pasteurize it, I just wait until it heats up to 161 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 15 seconds. I'm gonna start working on all the beams for the roof. And this is kind of like the final support of the roof. So these are single carriolas, single pieces of beam that are just gonna go straight across the roof. And then the metal tin roof is gonna get screwed directly onto this. So think of this as kind of just like, think of this as like studs. I don't know, I see you back there. No, you don't. I see you. Get on. I'm, I'm, I'm literally looking in your eyeball. Awesome seeing how quickly all of these cariolas are going up right now. I have a feeling as long as the rain holds out for us today, we should be able to get all of these cariolas up on this side and on this side. Fingers crossed the weather is on our side today. Having these guys help me is making this move so much faster. Enrique's just going on the right side, I'm taking the left side, and we're putting them in maybe, each one's taking five or 10 minutes, which is super fast for working with metal. I know you guys that install roofs out of wood with a nail gun, I know you can probably do it way faster than us, but this is just part of Panama living. We can't use any wood here. I think it's official. The mini summer is over. It is done. I don't know what's up, but it's only raining here. If you look over there, blue skies. If you look down in town, it's nice. You but know here, what I think that means, honey, the work day is over. It's trying to tell us, hey, it's time to chill out. <laughs> it's time to chill the heck out. That's where we're gonna end this one, you guys. We've made a ton of progress on this thing, and the thing that I'm really pushing for is getting this roof on because once we get the roof on, nothing can stop us, baby. We could be working till 10 exactly. o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. We can work through the night. But we're almost there. Just a couple more steps and we're gonna be screwing a roof down onto this thing. 
give us a little bit more dry space and give us a working space for the rest of the construction of this thing. It's gonna feel so good once we get that up there. So we just wanna thank you guys so much for all your love and all your support following our crazy journey. But if you guys are interested in checking out Meeson and their amazing knives and other cookware, you can click the link in our description box below. Use the code NOMADIC to get 20% off site-wide plus free shipping if you spend $75 or more. So thank you so much Meeson for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys so much for coming along on this one. We are just so excited to keep making progress on this but this is where i leave you guys for this one thanks again and we'll see you next time